Hey guys, this is Jasper. I am giving you a little tutorial on how to open, or I mean, uh, combine, like, package a GUI application that you made with Java Swing, um, such as this little um, password generator app that I have, into an app file, such as this, where you can double click it, you can put it on your dock, you can put it in your applications folder and make it show up in your launchpad etc so um, I'm going to show you how to do that the first thing uh, you need to know is like if you have any native libraries that you need to also install uh, you'll, you'll I suggest you find a different way of distribution because this only deals with um, distribution of single jar files and um, if you use like external libraries I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel um, where you can figure out how to combine uh, external library jars into a single jar file and then you can use this tutorial to um, package the whole jar file into an app file so to get started you'll need three links you'll need to download from three places um, the first one is this app that I created called jar bundler um, just download that click that right there um, and then the second one is um, Apache Ant and here's the link to that I'll put both, all, all three links in the description um, I guess I'll just click uh, you can just click the, the uh, zip archive and then go to this link and download app bundler 1.0 jar okay then once you have all that you should uh, be good to go um, except ant is okay and is finished downloading. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up terminal. Okay, I'm going to cd to downloads, and you can see I have um, jar bundler right there, Apache Ant, and app bundler. Um, actually, I'm going to, uh, you know what, that's fine. Okay, so, the thing is, you have to have these, you have to have Apache Ant, and you also have to have, um, App Bundler. Because, um, Jar Bundler uses these two. And so what you need to do, is you need to move, um, Apache ant to just ant so if you list that you can see that ants there and then you can move ant to wherever you need to and in fact you can name it whatever you want to I'm going to move ant to my home folder right there so if I list that you can see that ant is a directory in as you can see ant is a directory okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move um, App Bundler 1.0.jar to uh, slash ant user slash ant slash lib slash app bundler 1.0.jar. There we go. Quit that. And then you, whenever you look in here, um, you can see ant bin. There's ant right there, and then lib uh, app bundler. There's app bundler right there. So now what you got to do is you got to open this jar file. Uh, I mean this jar bundler application that I created. And then whenever you first open it up, you'll see this. Um, click. Um, you'll so actually let me open up that window that I had a minute ago. So, click choose on path to ant, 
and what we're looking for is this ant um, executable file right here. It's, it's a, uh, I think it's a bash script or something like that. And it's an ant bin ant. Now if um, ant is not in a folder called bin, it won't accept it. Okay, so do that, find ant, then click ant, and wherever you put that app bundler file, that's not where I put it. I put it in live. Just find it, there it is, click open, and then click done. Um, and now you should be able to bundle an app. So um, here's how I'm going to go through it. Just click choose, um, and wait a minute. This is the app file. This is where I want to save it. I want to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call it password generator dot app. It'll out automatically put that uh, dot app at the end if you don't have it. And then I've got to find the jar file. Uh, there it is. Then I got to find the main class. And I forgot the main class. So I'm going to go back into my JetHub project where it is. Uh, where is it? Password generator. I got to find my main class. And my main class is just password generator. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to copy that. it in here delete dot java because that's not um that you can't have that in there um let's see i'm looking for my icon all right so the icon jar bundler comes with um an app called generic app uh, i mean not an app a, a file called generic app dot icns you cannot build a jar file unless you have I mean you cannot bundle an app file unless you have that icon file um, and there are different ways to create your own um, there used to be an app called icon composer um, and that's not available anymore I think there may be some apps in the app store where you can do that but anyway we're going to use the generic app.icns file for now, and that's in my desktop um, right there. Open. And then version string, I don't know what the version is. I'm just going to call it 1.0. Ah, you can call it whatever. It does, it, you should probably make it pretty reasonable, like a 1.0 or whatever version is, but you can do whatever or anything else. And then just click bundle. Um... And then it's going to build, and then it will show up in your desktop. Right here, it's password generator. And you can see it says version, whatever. <laughs> okay, so now you should be able to open it up. And it opens up just like that. And it will be in your dock. You can put it in your applications folder right here. So it will show up in Launchpad. Um, yeah. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if, um, say, Ant is moved to the desktop, um, and you try to bundle, if, if Ant is, if anything happens and you click bundle, it'll say Ant was not found there. We have to restart it. So I'm going to restart um, Jar Bundler, and then I'm going to open it up again. And then I've got to figure all this stuff out and I don't want to put ant back into my home folder right here so oh, I gotta reload it oh yeah I gotta find ant okay click open and then find at bundler.jar that's in the library folder and it, you don't have to have it in the app uh, library folder if you don't want to and there you go also there are these two buttons at the top um, if you make, if you set all these things, um, you can click save, find somewhere to save, save something, or whatever, find somewhere to save, and then whenever you want to, like if you make an update to your app and you want to bundle it again, you can just click open config, config 
find your config file that you made. All this stuff will be filled out for you. You don't have to click choose or open or anything like that. And you, all you have to do is click bundle. Uh, you should probably change your version string if you want to, if you, uh, if you, if, uh, if it's a different version. And then just click bundle. Um, and you have to have all the text fields filled in. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Um, I hope this is very useful. Um, my my uh, video for the previous version got a lot of views. Um, I was very surprised at that, and so I decided to make an update where you don't have to have like ant in a specific uh, place. And, um, and yeah, you can have ant anywhere you want as long as Jar Bundler knows where it is and stuff like that. All right, so uh, have fun. I'm going to. Um, upload this video and put it up on YouTube or something like that. I don't know. See ya.